I'm Dr. Nathalie Johnson, and I'm Medical Director for Legacies Cancer Institute. I also am a breast cancer survivor. I had a lump, and it just, I ignored it, but then my daughter kept poking at it. She's like my little angel, you know, like, like she knew, you know, to keep poking at it until I was like, okay, I'll go in. Jessica, I remember the day that she came in with her new diagnosis, just thinking how young and just hugging her, loving her. From the, you know, the time you go in and you're getting your, your chemo and then the doctor sees you just, they're all, they were all thinking positive, like, oh, you'll be fine. You're gonna do good, you know, you'll react to the chemo good. And so I think it's the support of the doctors and even down to the receptionist, you know, going in, so. During the treatment, it got, lit. like I got tired couldn't do nothing and even getting her up for my daughter up for school and everything was hard so I did have to leave my job and going through cancer it's not just the physical treatment but there are lots of social things that happen and are impacted by cancer so we ask those questions um, do you have transportation can you pay your light and electricity bills one day the receptionist had asked me um, if I needed anything and I was like, well, help with gas to get to the appointments and she's like, oh, well, don't worry about that. And I was like, oh, okay. She filled out some paperwork and then I got a letter in the mail. So I read it and it did say, you know, Susan G. Coleman. I was like, no. I told the receptionist, I was like, thank you. I go, that really, you know, I didn't think anything was going to come out of it. I go, but it did really help. And she's like, well, I'm glad, you know. I mean, it may not seem like a lot for some people. But the gas, you know, it did, it helped a lot. Coleman in, of Oregon and Southwest Washington is important to me personally because I see the work that they do from helping Jessica to have gas all the way through research to a drug that Coleman helped develop called Herceptin, which was part of the therapy that saved my own life. So I cannot tell you how much I appreciate the work and the love that Coleman brings to the support of women with breast cancer. I do feel like a survivor, like, okay, you know, like life threw it at me, you know, okay, I fought it. Next year I'm gonna do the run. That's my plan, so.